is where I get excited. Jesus isn't going to be the only one wearing the crown. Listen, how many of those of you at home know that Jesus is no longer wearing this crown of thorns? Jesus wore this crown of thorns. It served this purpose. When he went into the ground and came up three days, as we are going to celebrate next week, he traded in the crown, that crown that represent the curse, and he traded it in for that crown that only our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords can wear. He is just that the king of kings and the lord of lords and so he's not wearing that crown anymore and and one day on that great getting up morning when we see jesus face to face he won't be wearing that crown because you've already been freed and the work had already been done and not only will he not be wearing that crown he'll have a beautiful crown of his own but guess what you too will have a crown this is the reality anybody who is of royal blood Thank you, Jesus Christ in heaven. Anybody who is the child of a king, anybody who is the child of the queen, anybody within the lineage of royalty, they too are royalty. They too are royalty. This is one of the reasons why I saw, I saw the, uh, the royals talking about their departure from the kingdom. She said, listen, my, my son, they told me that my son is not going to be considered a prince. Now, I'm not getting into all the details. I don't know if that's true, what's true, what's false. I wasn't there. I don't know. But she was upset because she said, how can my son be married to a prince and not be considered a prince himself? And that is boggling to them because the rule is when you come from kingship, you too are royalty. And God is, is understands that as well. And so when all is said and done, because you are the king's child, you too will have a crown that represents that you are a child of royalty. I'm so glad because of Jesus we've been grafted into the will of God. And so we can be considered to be child, children of God. We can be considered a chosen generation, a, a royal priesthood. And, and so we too will have a crown. Well, Pastor Jason, what are you talking about? What crowns are you talking about? Listen, the reality is this. Because we've been grafted into the kingdom through Jesus and his sacrifice, through salvation, and through his, through his service, we have crowns. And the same way the king of this land that have come and gone, they have crowns that represent what they value. So will we too, one day, if we play our cards right, we too will have crowns that represent kingdom values. 